Hi guys, my name is Bernd and I'd like to show you my software MIDI to Artnet Converter. It's a pain using MIDI devices together with Lightning Desks or Lightning software because some Lightning software like this here, um, Grandma on PC, does not understand all MIDI events. So my software um, makes it possible to get an easy configuration to use any software which understands Artnet together with MIDI devices. Um, for example, using MIDI with um, M uh, on PC, um, it's hard because you need a um, tool which translates um, CC events to nodes because um, on PC doesn't understand uh, CC events, it understands only nodes. So second you need a local loopback device because when you're using a USB device um, you cannot use your in devices using the convert software to um, yeah, transport the MIDI signal directly to um, yeah, Grand Mountain PC. So what I've prepared here is a demo show um, which has some fixtures patched here uh, on the left side, um, but before we start with the fixtures, um, we need to configure the on PC to understand Artnet or to receive Artnet. So I'm switching to the command, um, I'm going to set up network protocols, and I've set up here an um, Artnet input which locally ends in universe 4, and um, I need one. Um, receiving universe only. So the second thing um, is I prepared my MIDI device. I'm using a tractor control F1 um, from Native Instruments. It has at the top side here uh, four uh, faders um, and some push buttons. As you can see here, they are sending nodes and the faders sending CC messages. Um, many devices sending CC messages for faders, so you always are in the pain to convert them. My software is quite easy to use. Um, just start the software, begin a new project. Um, it automatically detects a running um, on PC or any ARTnet desk and shows here um, its IP and of course it's um, showing the available universes. Of course um, your PC must be member of that ARTnet uh, address here. So hit OK, the project is now um, configured. Now add a MIDI device you want to use, in this case we want to use um, Control F1. Uh, what you can also do is send some sysx to do configuration stuff. Um, I have another MIDI device connected here, the Akai APC40, um, which needs to be um, yeah, configured in that way that you are doing everything in your software yourself. So like something like bank switching and uh, it's quite easier to use the APC uh, which uh, initialized um, special mode. For this demonstration, of course, that was one. So when I have edited it, is, uh, it is um, edited to the project and when I'm pushing now some MIDI buttons you can see here a small green lamp which is showing that the MIDI refund is received and at the um, button here you can see also what is sent by the software. So how to add some MIDI events to the software to convert it, them to Artnet. It's also easy. Enter the learn mode by clicking learn. You can also access the same menu by clicking the right mouse button, uh, the context menu. So when the learn mode is activated, just push or move the buttons, faders on your MIDI device so they will edit it here automatically. And my four buttons. I want to show. So what you can see here, um, the control changes are received, the notes are received, and they are automatically assigned to DMX channels here. You can also see here 
what is currently sending. So when I'm pushing a button, um, it jumps to a maximum value. When I'm um, yeah release a button, it jumps back to zero. And of course, the faders um, can be shown here. So now you're ready, ready by configuring the software. Disable the learn mode. Switch back to your um, on PC software and uh, okay, go back to your show and entering uh, remote input setups. Switch to DMX input and uh, what I am showing first is that the um, Artnet is al already receiving. Um, when I configured it, it was Universe 4, like here, and when I'm now moving the faders or using the four buttons, um, I can see the values are arriving here. So back to the command, um, DMX remotes, I need, um, yeah, I want to show those four faders and two buttons. They are starting at universe one with DMX channel one. So here I set some executors. I like to have here faders and of course they have faders one through four. Here I'm using hard keys for this um, demonstration and I'd like to have a fader page up, fader page down feature. So yeah, now we are ready and ready to use the desk. What I prepared, as you can see here, um, some yeah, group faders for um, yeah, my my fixture groups, um, the fo first is max, the uh, second uh, max, a smart max, and here on the next fader page, page number two, for the um, five, six um, smart mac, and here seven, eight. So um, what we can already use um, are the hard keys for switching the banks here, as you can see. DMX receiving and, and then the bank is switched and of course um, the faders uh, when I move the faders the inputs are coming and, and you see here in on the left side that the output value is changing of course um, of the fader value. For MIDI devices it's important to know um, when you're using them you are not able to switch the banks without jumping of the executor values. So this is a benefit using my software with on PC because when I'm switching the bank um, to bank 2 and as you can see here my faders are something on level 30 percent. Um, when I'm now going to the second page and I'm moving the faders um, as you can see in the DMX um, area here nothing happens. Only when I pick up the values by moving them to 71% I get the values and uh, I can move the output. So my software is um, releasing at September the 1st. Currently there's a demo version with which will expire on um, uh, eight, uh, 31 o uh, of this month, 8. And um, yeah, have fun with my software and stay tuned. Thank you.